Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's video, we're gonna talk about, <clears throat> will they take your freedom again? Now the answer to that, the, the short answer is yes, they absolutely will. They are undoubtedly going to try and they've been doing it over time. They've been taking our freedom so slowly that a lot of people don't realize, right? And obviously the first thing goes with the Second Amendment and the First Amendment, which are two things that we're seeing disappear, right? If you speak against anything that the Democrat deems worthy, they're gonna call you a racist or misogynistic or whatever it is. Then of course, they've been chipping away at the Second Amendment for decades. Now, a lot of people bring up the case that they're not taking your firearms away, but look at the firearms we used to own and look at the firearms certain states can own now. They're chipping away at it, especially here in New York State. But something more devious will be headed this way. And that's going to be the total freedom disappearing with the new pandemic that comes along. Now, a lot of people, you know, again, some people seem to think that we might not get one as long as we stay ahead of the curve and that who is on top of it and the CDC is on top of it and every medical agency is going to be on top of it. So we might not see anything like that again. And those are the people who are naive. But watching all of these new arm tickets come out, watching them discuss how they're going to work on a vaccine for a virus that does not exist means that something is coming our way guys that is going to shut down the world once again what i think a lot of companies are doing at least a lot of the elite companies are doing is that they're figuring out a way how they can continue to make money without missing a beat should the next issue arise and a lot of our freedoms guys are disappearing right i mean look what they did with the arm ticket with mr 19's arm ticket they all but somewhat forced people to take it. They put people in positions, rather, where they had, in their eyes, they had no choice to take it. Now, listen, you're talking to me. I had a choice, and I made the choice, and I walked away from a job. A lot of people use that as the excuse of why they took it. Oh, I didn't want to go without work. Just to wind up taking it, and a lot of people I know are now sick because they took this arm ticket now they're dealing with more medical issues than they would have had had they not taken it and stood their ground and walked away i tell people all the time was it worth it there are people who say no there are people who are saying they would have rather have lost their job than deal with the shit that they're dealing with now and there are people who can no longer be here with us because they never woke up the next morning they had a massive heart attack they had a stroke, they have some neurological disease that's crippling them. So they put people in a position that was seemingly forced to take it. But again, they weren't. A lot of people had a lot of excuses. Some people said, I couldn't visit my mother at an old age home. Boo the fuck who? Now you and your fucking grandmother or mother are dealing with medical issues that you wouldn't have had to deal with had you stood your ground. And this wasn't going to last forever. And I knew it wasn't going to last forever because I saw the pushback on the other end. But guys, what are you prepared to do with the bullshit that's coming down the pike? Because again, with all of the arm tickets that they're releasing, like the RSV, the RSV, they're telling people they should go ahead and take it. Meanwhile, if I'm not mistaken, 34 people didn't make it because of, because of it. Though that's not a lot, being at 55 million doses were given out, and I think it's a single, a single shot, arm ticket still that's and th again 35 people is dropping a bucket i know it's, it's well under one percent obviously but still guys how many of these things they're going to keep coming out with they're trying to convince you to take it every year they convince people to take the flu every year they, they're convincing people to take the rsv they have the chicken pox or, or the um the one that old people get with the the chicken pox version of it i can't think of it right now but they're having people take that shit um they have people taking all sorts of new shots that have not been tested regularly and when the next 
pandemic happens, how many people are going to be cornered yet again and their freedoms taken away? So my question is, are you going to fight? Are you going to protest, which doesn't work? And I'm so tired of the protesting bullshit. I mean, like, everybody thinks that they show up with a couple signs and they wave it in the air that some asshole's going to be like, yo, guys, there are 50 people outside our doors protesting. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Said no administration ever. Now, there were protests that had worked, but because they were giving it to their politicians. If I'm not mistaken, over in Sweden somewhere or one of those uh, Nordic countries, where the farmers were using their tractors and spreading shit and dumping shit on these people's homes. They were going after them in a brutal way. They weren't sitting there with just signs and flags and support farmers. They were doing the actual do. They were being active or rather proactive. No, reactive. But nonetheless, that reaction and that the actions that they took changed the minds of those politicians because they went out there and they started doing some real shit. They weren't sitting there kumbaya holding hands, lock, interlocking arms with each other, chaining themselves up to their tractors. They were taking their tractors and putting their tractors to work. That is the kind of shit and that's the kind of fight we need to do. Now, are we going to see that here? I don't know. We saw so many people who were on YouTube talking shit about the arm ticket stating how they weren't going to take it how they weren't going to they weren't you know they, they're not putting that poison on my body and all of a sudden they tucked tail and ran and took the arm ticket a lot of people showed the elites not so much the government they showed the elites what they were made of and they were made of pussy juice or pussification however whatever you want to label it as that's what they were made of and they disappointed a lot of people. And I think that the elites know, and the government as well knows, that whatever bullshit that they force people to take the next time, because whatever happens next, guys, I promise you, that next event is gonna be a lot tougher looking. And it's gonna scare more people, and I think more people are gonna fold like origami and take the next arm ticket. But again, my question to you in the comment section, if you don't mind answering, will you fight? Or will you fold? Other than that, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.